What's going on everybody, Swaby Games here back on some My NBA 2K18. Today we're going to be talking about the new game mode that's going to be dropping today. I haven't posted in actually just over three weeks, which is mostly because I've been working on my other channel, and it's also due to the fact that I can't really play the game. You know, if I get, you know, caught showing my name in a video or something, or somebody finds out, I get banned. But um, I'm in a good position right now because my main account is in Star Plus. It's actually in Star Plus Plus because, yeah. So I'll get into that in uh, another video later today. I'll be dropping a few today. I have a, I did a video, uh, video with uh, Will Upton. We got together for like 45 minutes and we spoke about my NBA and the future of the game and everything and some past. But, you know, I ended up taking it down just because uh, I wanted to like edit it more and, you know, make it, you know, better quality. And I'm not sure if I even have it anymore. You know, I haven't, like I said, I have, I've been playing my NBA somewhat. You know, I've been checking it out. I've been keeping in touch of, like, Twitter and things. You know, I followed the page, and um, I've been seeing what they're posting. And there's a maintenance today at 11 a.m. Pacific, you know, uh, time standard. So that means at 2 Eastern, the servers will be taken down. And um, they wouldn't be taking them down unless this new game. They've been hinting at this new game for a while now. We knew it was coming. And um, I'm here to tell you uh, my thoughts about it. You know, I haven't seen any other YouTubers talking about it. You know, like I said, you know, I'm just focusing on my NBA and, you know, my other channel and things like that. I've been watching basketball. Of course, I'm following the NBA. But with my NBA, you know, I wanted to focus on something else because if I put time into making my NBA videos, that's time that I could be putting into, you know, another game, another, you know, uh, channel, you know, another, you know, some sort of, you know, other motive that really can, you know, help me grow. I mean, and it's been working out, but it's just the fact that, you know, I enjoy my NBA, NBA Live Mobile. Um, I still play that game more than my NBA, but, you know, I honestly, I've said it from the beginning. I feel my NBA is a better game. And the reason for that is because, you know, if you weren't to buy coins or to buy cash in NBA Live Mobile, it's virtually unplayable. I mean, you would not have all of these high cards and that and in my NBA you can you can spend zero you know dollars in my NBA and you can have the best team in the game there's no arguing that well actually you can but you'd have to play like a ridiculous amount but I know it can be done and of course you're not gonna have the secret Anthony Davis Kobe Jim, uh, Jimmy Butler doesn't have a superstar card well at least in the auto what was it the spring packs you know you're not gonna have those cards but those aren't the best cards in the game the best cards in the games are the gauntlet cards event cards the king of the court cards and the rivals clash event cards and you can get those so you know you're fine uh for me i've been waiting to get a um a, a really good event you know run before i started posting but i haven't been able to do that i mean i have but i've been choosing not to because for me i would have to dedicate a whole weekend to get an event card because you know my team is in balance and i actually want, i think i wanted one plus five the whole rivals clash i was able to get the star card which was like i put up like 200 points i think it finished at like 230 or something maybe even a little more 250 but um without further ado let's get into this event so like i said i'm speaking on this without watching any other youtubers without listening to any blogs or you know anything like that on the community and i'm looking at it right now and it looks like you know this may be like completely off because i don't know like i said once again but you know you can see there's a big there's a wing and there's a ball handler and ball handlers have the diamond uh what is it called like i don't even know the name of these like or they're not called enhancements are they um whatever but and you can see the wings have like the one of those emeralds and then the bigs have the rubies um thankfully they're color coded i probably wouldn't i would know the diamond oh no that's not yeah that's a ruby okay so anyways you know it looks like there's like three you know rounds of this and you i'm not sure how many you know I, I know there's three cards in each i'm not sure that would be really cool if it's like a three on three and then you know but i don't know how this is going to be balanced you know it's going to be really interesting honestly i'm just of a fan as you guys are like i don't know what's coming and i'm looking forward to it and um i really wish i could you know play the game i mean of course you know honestly i probably deserve to be like demoted and um in the you know my nba you know um game because you know uh, i was spreading you know um the credits you know in rp and of course the game already doesn't make you know it makes it makes a good amount of money they get a lot of purchases but you know it's a smaller game you know they're not represented by the nba or anything like that you know like of course like nba 2k and um i believe wwe supercard is sponsored by the wwe so or world wrestling entertainment so 
Like I said, man, this looks like an interesting game mode, but I don't care about the game mode. I care about the rewards. The two on two rewards are complete garbage. And the only reason you should play that is if you like have nothing else to do and you're just using game nights, you're trying to waste time. And um, one of my friends like that, uh, I don't, he go, he's still at high school, but I'm not sure if he watches my videos or not. But he asked me like if I still play my NBA and I told him no. Well, I mean, I do, but like very rarely and he said that like he's tried to quit my nba but he said he can't and he said it's just like a good time killer and that's really the truth about my nba it's just a good time killer like if you get an event card you're just wasting your time you know like what are you gonna do with those event cards you know that's the thing so like there's no really like even though like the for example like the loyalty rewards next year these you grinding this game isn't going to help you with your progress next year and you know a lot of people really like there's not a lot of competition like if you get if you're getting every event card like i'm sure you could some people probably watching this video could get every event card probably playing only maybe like the first day and then the second day like half of it like i'm not saying 24 hours i'm saying like four to five hours the first day and then like two hours the next day if you grind that straight up you could probably get the event card i'm not sure if that's true or not but with hot streaks it absolutely is and i'm not sure i'm gonna go check on how many points it took to get the event card this rival scotch which was the sean kemp and i'm not gonna lie i was actually interested or at least intrigued about that card because you know it's a power forward which i could use i mean i could use anything other than a shooting guard to this point but you know and it's sean kemp you know he's a he was such a you know uh, he was like 610 you know could dunk in anybody just played with gary payton probably one of the best teams to never win a title um that um supersonics team you know they had uh detlef shrimp and they had some other players that were good i can't think of their names but um one of them was uh, i was gonna check the rewards i got him he was a power forward center but okay so to get the rival scotch card it took 2061 points like just think about that for these not the best card in the game but for one of the best cards in the game of course the rival scotch cards are going to be most likely worse than the other cards because king of the court and the gauntlet are more difficult i mean rival scotch is easy you know but you know i have yet the highest rival scotch you know card i've got this year was i don't think like i haven't gotten like say if it was elite tier i don't don't believe i've gotten an elite card or say if a star tier i haven't gotten a star card you know superstar i haven't gotten a superstar i've gotten the card below and that is because you know by the first rival scotch which came um was it in october i don't remember i think it was like in october it was lonzo against uh Markel Fultz so it was the Lakers against the Sixers and the Lakers took that and by the way those cards are not useful now like if you were getting the event cards back in the beginning of the game they and you're like competing and you're playing this game like daily or at least every other day or something you're grinding somewhat those cards are not you know really like it's been like that for years you know i've had event cards were like legendary cards you know in like the next few tiers off i've just like in miami 2k17 i mean that was i miss miami 2k17 man you know and that's i don't know that was just it was so easy to be a youtuber because i had rp and i didn't have to grind the game four or five hours a day to get all those good cards which some people still do and some people did then i will never do that on um the only game that i've actually like put that much time in was 2k and i'm sitting at like 170,000 mt right now and the thing is is like you know if you look at like a diamond um james harden that's like 60 th or not like 60 like 50,000 mt so i can only get like f three diamond cards and that's i'm just waiting for the val the uh, prices to go down the market to crash so then i can you know buy so you know that's the be best thing to do and also like the best i might get into that that doesn't even matter but basically this new game mode will be coming out today and i'm hoping it does i don't expect a new tier to drop that would be nonsense it is a monday it's going to be in the afternoon when people are most likely out of school um east coast at least so stay tuned for that this is swipe games leave a like if you want me to continue to post my nba i will um daily i doubt it but i can definitely post a few times a week with some good content um and yeah, this is Swipe Games. Once again, signing out. Have a great rest of your day. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, you know, have a wonderful day. Let me know how, you know, you're doing in the game. And um, if you're liking it. And if you're looking forward to my NBA 2K19. Later. And if I, I swear, if I'm banned in my NBA 2K19, I, I'm just going to be so done. That's, just, that's too far later. And it just shows, like, how, you know, great I am. Like, I have such a big voice in the community. Um, Now, not so much. Because nobody, like not even probably more than half of my subscribers aren't even like active on youtube not just on my channel just active in general but you know i was still able to get to there and i'm still gaining subs today that's why i want to keep posting my nba and of course i'm going to put more time into my other channel and into you know school and um things like that i'm on break right now so <laughs> later